You don't know where to go until you know where you're from. This is why history is so important. Most big mistakes have been made in the past and we do not want to make them again. But there are also many discoveries we wish we had found sooner because they changed the world as we know it. Stay tuned if you want to know more about the discoveries that will keep changing our lives in the future. If this is your first time visiting our channel, don't forget to subscribe and please give this video a big thumbs up. Today we're showing you 10 amazing discoveries that rewrote history. The Rosetta Stone If you ever try to read hieroglyphics, this mission seems almost impossible. Researchers were also confused when they first saw these symbols looking like animals, waves, and characters. The written language had been dead for 2,000 years, so they couldn't find anyone to translate it. That was until a French soldier found the Rosetta Stone in 1799 during Napoleon Bonaparte's Egyptian campaign. It contained passages written in three different scripts, Greek, Egyptian hieroglyphics, and Egyptian demotic. The Rosetta Stone was commissioned by Ptolemy V to claim that he was the rightful pharaoh of Egypt. But for archaeologists, it meant so much more. They read that it was written in sacred and native and Greek characters. This is how they understood that the same text was written in three different scripts. French Egyptologist Jean-Francois Champollion finally cracked the code after teaching himself ancient language. He found out the symbols were used to represent objects, sounds, and groups of sounds. It was the key to understanding the culture of those who lived thousands of years ago. Without this discovery, we would not have known anything about this ancient civilization. Without this, we would know barely anything about the Egyptian mythology. Who thought that a stone could rewrite history? Fingerprints They have always been right under our noses this whole time. Fingerprints are part of what make us unique individuals. It was not until the 19th century that we discovered that it was a great way to identify criminals. But did you know that the ancient Babylonians discovered that we all had different fingerprints thousands of years before that? They pressed their fingers into clay to record business transactions. Then Chinese people used finger impressions with ink on paper not only for business but also to identify children. Then in the 20th century, law enforcement officials started identifying criminals with their fingerprints. But it wasn't as easy as you might think. At that time, there were no computers. Investigators had to look at them one by one for days, and sometimes they didn't even find a match. It wasn't until the 1970s that the system was automated with a computer. And there are now more and more ways to know who we are with our footprints, our lip prints, and our tongue prints. This way to identify individuals completely changed the way detectives investigate. We know the unique story of everyone from the trace they leave on everything that they touch. And by having access to this information, we can make it so fewer criminals make history again. Pompeii In this ancient Roman city, a disaster was frozen in time forever. In 79 AD, a volcano buried Pompeii under a thick carpet of volcanic ash. 2,000 of the 20,000 people living there passed away during this tragic event. Most of them had plenty of time to escape, but others stayed behind. They stood there like statues before the city was abandoned for hundreds of years. Then, in 1748, explorers discovered the ancient city of Pompeii. But what surprised them the most was that underneath the dust, everything was mostly intact. It was like nothing had changed since that final day. What was a tragedy became a treasure to historians. Visiting Pompeii was like traveling in the past and learning more about the lifestyle of those who lived there almost 2,000 years ago. The most distinguished citizens lived in that town. Archaeologists even found jars of preserved fruits and loaves of bread. But these findings also influenced the culture of the 18th century. The wealthiest families in Europe had reproductions of objects from the ruins, and Pompeii inspired architectural trends from the era. And there are still so many things to discover in Pompeii nowadays, but we can't help but wonder, what would happen if a volcano erupted in this moment? What would your dust statue look like if people found you in 2,000 years? Penicillin the discovery of penicillin marks a turning point in human history. Before that day, if you were sick, one of the best things to do was to say your prayers. But when Alexander Fleming found out what would become one of the very first antibiotics, thousands of lives changed. And that discovery would not have been possible if the bacteriologist didn't do something we all do. He didn't clean his lab. Among the mess, he found out that bacteria next to the penicillin mold didn't grow as they normally do. This unusual substance got rid of these harmful microorganisms. After a few more weeks of research with, he concluded that it could be used as a way to treat dangerous infections. 
Fleming wrote in a letter in 1928 that he didn't plan to revolutionize all medicine that morning, but that's exactly what he did. He then started working with Professor Howard Florey, the one that made everything possible. Fourteen years later, Ann Miller was the first civilian patient whose life was saved by the antibiotic. And she was certainly not the last one. This is how Fleming and his team won a Nobel Prize in 1945. We can't believe that so many lives were saved because his lab bench was messy. What if you could win a Nobel Prize from what you would find in your room if you didn't clean it? Blech. The first human. No, the first man wasn't named Adam and the first woman wasn't Eve. The oldest known species in the human family tree was the Sahelanthropus chidensis, which is a little bit more complicated to pronounce. But when a team of scientists found fossils of this specimen in 2001, no one could pretend that we were not related to monkeys. If you take a look at this reconstitution, you'll see what we are talking about. The first human lived between 7 and 6 million years ago in West Central Africa. It had a combination of ape-like and human-like features. It had a small brain, very prominent brow ridges, and a lot of hair. But just like us, they also had small canine teeth, a short middle part of the face, and a spinal cord that let them walk upright. This discovery helped us understand more things about our early ancestors. Other discoveries like the Homo erectus and Homo neanderthalensis also helped us understand what makes us Homo sapiens today. This species of human has been on Earth for 200,000 years. However, don't think humans descend from monkeys. We are both primates, but humans and chimpanzees both evolved differently from a common ancestor that lived 8 million years ago. The Dinosaurs We are so fascinated by these creatures from the past. So imagine what British scientist Richard Owen felt like when he was the first to discover a dinosaur in 1842. He described them as immense animals that were the most perfect modifications of the reptilian type. Scientists already knew that gigantic sea reptiles existed, but Owen was the first to write about reptiles that lived on Earth. The first one to be found was a predatory lizard called the Megalosaurus. He first thought that it measured 30 feet long, but later found out that it was 70 feet long. It's just as tall as the White House. Many other immense reptiles were found in the following years, and Owen proposed that they were all related. He named them dinosaurs, which means terrible lizard in Greek. This discovery helped us understand how life started on Earth from almost 250 million years ago until their extinction 66 million years ago. And there are still so many things to learn about them. Did you know that dinosaurs don't look like what you usually see in pictures? They actually had feathers but unfortunately most of them couldn't fly. And did you know that you can still see dinosaurs today? Modern birds are descendants of a group of two-legged dinosaurs. So whenever you eat chicken, you're actually eating what used to be a giant, terrible lizard. Stonehenge For centuries, historians and archaeologists tried to discover Stonehenge's mysteries, the most iconic prehistoric ruin in England. Why did people take thousands of years to place 100 massive stones in a circular layout 5,000 years ago. Many people believe that it was used as a burial site, but it could be much more than that. A ceremonial site, a place of healing, a religious pilgrimage destination, a memorial to connect with ancestors, or the final resting place for someone who was really important. It could also be an astronomical calendar because the stones correspond to different astrological phenomena. All these theories gave historians the chance to learn more about the culture of those who lived thousands of years ago. Historians also wanted to know how people even built Stonehenge without modern technology. The wheel wasn't even invented yet. The stones weighed up to 40 tons, and some of them were transported over 200 miles. Historians believe that builders used sleds and ropes to carry the stones. It is also possible that tree trunks were used as rollers or that they used large boats. Some scientists even suggested that glaciers were responsible for this. Even though historians, scientists, and archaeologists didn't find an answer, they learned so many things by asking all these questions. Electricity Could you imagine a life without electricity? You couldn't be watching this video, you wouldn't be able to use a computer or a cell phone, and you would have to use candles to light your house. Electricity always existed, but it is when someone found a way to use it to our advantage that our lives changed forever. The electrical charge was first discovered in ancient Greece 2,600 years ago. In fact, researchers believe that the battery could have been invented 2,000 years ago. They found an urn that contained a copper pipe, an iron rod, and the residue of an acidic liquid. 
When a team of scientists tried to do the same experiment, they produced 4.5 volts. Unfortunately, this invention was forgotten for thousands of years. It was not until the 18th century that Benjamin Franklin started experimenting with a kite, a key, and a storm. He wanted to prove that lightning was electricity. However, it was nothing but a dangerous experiment at the time. We had to wait for Alessandro Volta to discover a steady flow of electrical charge. This is how he invented the battery, a reliable source of electricity that inspired many scientists and researchers. More people worked to explain our knowledge of electricity so we could learn how to control this force of nature. If only we had started using electricity in our daily lives since ancient times, imagine how it would have changed history as we know it. The Earth People obviously noticed that they were walking on Earth since the beginning of history, but there were so many things that they didn't know about. You might think that Christopher Columbus was the first explorer who wanted to prove that the Earth was round when everyone thought it was flat. But that's not true. Ancient Greeks actually knew about it thousands of years ago. Aristotle was the first to prove that the Earth was round by looking at the stars. There were different sets of stars in the sky depending on where you were. This is how he understood that people all around the world were not looking at the same night sky. Eratosthenes went even further and estimated the Earth's circumference. And that's not the only crazy thing that Greeks found out about 2,000 years ago. Copernicus was not the first to prove that the Earth was not the center of the universe. Ancient Greeks knew about planets like Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. But most of them thought the Earth was the center of the universe. Only one of them had a better idea. Aristarchus of Samos presented the first known model that placed the Sun at the center of the known universe in the 3rd century. This is how science changed the way we see the whole universe. DNA This discovery helped us understand the history of ourselves and what makes us who we are. DNA was first discovered in 1869, but it was not until almost 100 years later that people understood its use. In the 20th century, many scientists tried to study DNA. James D. Watson and Francis H. C. Crick were the first to describe the molecule containing human genes, the double helix structure of DNA. At that time, they thought that they had found the secret of life, and they weren't so far from that. It was a turning point in understanding life, and biology hasn't been the same since. Understanding DNA was like discovering the code that is used to make a computer work. And once the code was cracked in the 1960s, scientists have been working on becoming the programmers of our bodies. It helped us understand where we came from. It gave us the chance to challenge racial prejudices. It reunited families. It changed the way we eat. We have learned to swap chunks of DNA between species to give them special characteristics. We can now understand, predict, and cure inherited diseases. It helped us solve crimes and identify the guilty. Nowadays, DNA is still one of the things that scientists are the most interested in. And once we have the chance to understand who we are, we'll be able to become anything we want to be. And that's it for 10 amazing discoveries that rewrote history. Which one do you think had the greatest influence on our lives? Don't be shy to tell us in the comments down below. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to The Things and watch 10 amazing pictures they won't show you in history books. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.